Welcome to jeffmobile.com. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you a quick demo of how you can begin creating visualizations of your data, of your fitness data using SAP Lumira as the analytic tool and the Fitbit activity tracker. First of all, I have a question like, I really wonder, I've been tracking my sleep with Fitbit and I'm wondering how am I doing? Am I getting more sleep this month than I did the previous month? I'm also curious, am I starting to walk more again now? Am I becoming, becoming more active or am I becoming less active? So this is the questions I'm gonna answer. And before I go forward, I want to make clear that I am an employee of SAP and I this video is all my personal opinions. So it does not necessarily represent that of my employer. However, this product is publicly available available and it is a great product so I think you may find it useful. So first thing of all, you want to get SAP Lumira. So I search for SAP Lumira here and the first link that should come up is the one that you want. So I click that one and it says here download a full version of the Lumira for free. So click there and you need to fill in this information and then you can you can download it so once i do that then i'll get sap lumira i'll have to install it all right so the next thing i want to do now that i've got sap lumira installed is i want to go to my fitbit to export the data so i'll go fitbit export and there's, if you have a premium membership, you can use the Fitbit export from fitbit.com. If you don't, you can use this thing called Fitbit Data Export, which is a great way to export data that's totally free. So you click there and right click here to download your Fitbit data as a CSV. Click there and once this comes up, you'll download the file. And I saved mine to my computer already. Save it there and I have my exported file here. So the way the Fitbit looks like, if you open it up in Excel, you'll, it looks kind of like this. You have a date time column and all your activities and all these different ways of measuring your health. And if you scroll down, the data actually begins when I first started using the Fitbit on uh, March 24th, 2014. And it's starting to show my, my step data there. So this is activities here, number of steps, really important. So I want to analyze this data using SAP Lumira. Close Excel, open Lumira, and I want to open that file in the SAP Lumira. So put new document, text document, click next. And here's the file here. So export fit bit, there it is comes in nicely, click create. So the first thing you gotta do is you've gotta convert your date fields into the date format of SAP Lumira. So go to the prepare field. Before we can do this, you notice that we have a date time field here. This looks like a year dash month dash day. So I wanna convert this to a date time. And the date format we want to use here is year dash month dash day. Click OK. So now we have a column called date time two, but I want to rename this just to be simpler. Just rename this column to date. OK, that's all done. And then I also want to create a date time hierarchy on this so I can analyze the breakdown of the years, month, and days. So create a time hierarchy here. So now it breaks it down into uh, year, quarter, month, and day. Okay, so I want to go back to visualize room and actually do some visualization of the data. Oh, I also know something here. I've got something here called sleep dash minutes of sleep. Well, I actually want to look at the number of hours I was asleep. So I'll click here choose create calculated dimension take that value I'll call this hours asleep and take that formula divided by 60 so minutes of sleep divided by 60 should give me the hours of sleep click OK and hours of sleep now appeared here I also want to create a measure for that so I'll click here measure lets you look at the numbers sort of in a chart so create a measure now you can see here I've got hours of sleep here as well. 
Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I want to look at the, just the, look at the, have a look at the data. So I'll ch change this chart type, there's many different chart types you can choose from. I'll choose a column chart and I'll put in hours of sleep there by double clicking that one. And that doesn't give me much information yet. I'll, it just says the total number of hours I slept in the last year or so was over 1200 hours. But I want to look at the bit more of a breakdown here. So I will look at the day level, drag this day into X axis. And you can see here that I've got a lot of unnecessary data here. The data goes back to 2012, but I didn't actually start tracking my sleep until February 2015. So let's just look at 2015. I'll filter the data. This is the symbol means filter. Click here and go to expand this date thing and go to year. I just want to look at 2015 right now. So click apply. So that's better. It shows me how much I'm sleeping every day since I started tracking in February. And you can see, in general, I've had a pretty good amount of sleep. But let me add a linear regression that might help. Let me focus in a bit more on this data. How about I only look at March, April, May, June, and July. March, April, May, June, and July. Click OK. Okay, so what this is telling me is that I'm actually kind of getting a bit more sleep. It's kind of going up. See the trend here is going up. That's kind of interesting. I'd like to now look at the average amount I'm sleeping per day. Like this day I slept 9.83 hours. So the, the minimum I've slept is 4.43 hours. The max I've slept is around 10 hours, which is, oh, okay. Uh, I'll change this hours of sleep to average. And instead of looking at a day basis, I'll look at month basis. And to show the data, I'll click here, show data labels. Okay, so this is nice. So it shows me that in March, I slept 7.25 hours a day in average. In April, I slept 7.49 hours a night in average. In May, it was 7.6. And June, it was 7.68. And July, 7.94. So I'm almost getting eight hours a night in, in July so far. It's already July 10th. Very interesting. So that, that's analyzed my sleep. So let's look at some other data. So I'll click the plus button to add a new visualization so I can start with a fresh one. And I wanna look at how much I'm walking. So the one that for walking is activity steps. So I'll double click that one, add it to x-axis, and I wanna look at how much I'm walking every day. So I'll double click day. Right now this gives me the, verti the vertical chart, so I'll change this to the horizontal one. And I've, I've been tracking my steps for longer than I've been tracking my sleep. So I've been tracking my steps since um, second quarter of 2014. So I'll, I'll actually, for this one, I will filter the data down to be uh, a bit more than that. So click here, time date, and I'll choose quarter. And because I've got data from quarter two of 2014, I'll select all of those and that will be a filter down on that data. Click apply, that has all my data. So just from looking at this chart, it kind of looks like I was walking a lot more in 2014 than I was in 2015. But maybe things are starting to pick up here. So I want to do a bit more analysis. So I will actually change steps to average again. So change average. And I'll look at how much I'm walking every month. Okay, so this one shows me the average number of steps I'm taking every month. And it looked like in 2014, in the summer, I was quite active. I was walking the dog a lot. I was walking around 8,000 steps a day. 
And then when it came to October, November, December, I started walking less. When 7,000, January was my least walking month, very little walking to 6,000. 6, in June, I had a pretty healthy month, almost got up to 8,000. And in July, I'm still having a bit of a low month. So this one shows me that I haven't been walking as much as I would have liked to. Like those, these months were very consistent and then I'm walking less. Anyway, so that's all I want to do to show you today with SAP Lumira and Fitbit. I know this tutorial may be a bit long, and but I hope I hope it gave you a bit of an insight into how I actually can use SAP Lumira to look at my personal health data and find out interesting information about it. And if you want to explore Lumira more, there's other other kind of kinds of charts which I haven't shown today. There's different tables you can actually look at your data in a sort of a tabular format. There's maps where you can put stuff on maps. There's a pie chart, a line charts, other kinds of interesting charts. So um, in, future, in future tutorials, I may talk about those other ones as well. So thanks again for watching this tool. So again, this is SAP Lumira, and which is a free personal edition, which is available for free of charge. It also is the standard edition, which costs money, which, which is great for accessing data in databases. Uh, so we hope you hopefully you will find this useful. Be really happy to share it with you. So thanks again for watching and have a great day. Bye bye for now.